Hey, what's going on everyone? Today I'm going to be showing you how to use M3 Data Recovery's BitLocker for macOS program. This is a program that allows you to open, read and write BitLocker encrypted drives on your Mac. And it's also the first one to work with Apple Silicon M1 Macs and macOS Monterey Beta. So we're going to try it for free and we now have the installer. So we can just agree to it. It will tell you that system extension is blocked, so we will have to go into system preferences to allow it. So now that the installation is complete, we can click on this icon over here, and we can put in our license key, which we'll do right now. So now that we've activated it, we have multiple options such as settings, sharing, help, purchase, and encrypt. So what we're going to do is we're going to unlock the drive. So you just put in the password that you use to unlock. And we're going to unlock it with a built-in file manager first. It'll ask you to access files in a removable volume. And now, as you can see, it's been unlocked. So we have all, all our various folders and files here. We have some stuff related to OpenCore, which is a Hackintosh bootloader. And yeah, this is how the built-in file manager looks like. So over here, we could rename this to OpenCore. We also have other options such as return, Export, import, delete, rename, new folder, preview, preferences. And we can add a new folder. And over here, we can just name it new folder. And we could also add a file. So I have a photo of a Windows 10X and we can just drag it in. And it'll tell you that the file has been imported successfully. So now we are going to lock the drive again and we're going to mount it in the finder. So now that the drive is unlocked, you'll see it in the finder OC, open core. As you can see, we, if we set to just icons, we have our Windows 10 image that I dragged in and the open core folder. So you can easily rename any file and folder as you wish. And yeah, that's about it. So that was a demonstration of the M3 BitLocker Loader. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section. Thank you all for watching and see you all in my next video.